nice to chat to you again. I, I guess we'll start with the, the news that has come out of the club in, in recent days that the prospective new owner has been named. Just your reaction to that firstly, please. Well, I'm absolutely delighted. You know, um, when I was asked to come up here at such a short notice and, and I just wanted to come and help, really. I wanted to help Dean. I wanted to help the club. The fans have always been brilliant with me. And I thought it needed somebody like me just to come and calm the ship down and keep everybody informed. So absolutely delighted. I know it could have gone the other way and we could have been talking about administration, et cetera. But um, I, I ju I'm just so pleased, I can't tell you. It's a, it's a new era. I think they'll come and enjoy it. I think it's a good club to buy. I think the way that Dean has dealt with it has been excellent. You know, he's, he's forgo a lot of, you know, he's given a lot away as well himself. So I think it's good. Uh, you know, he's, he's looked after the fans as well again. So I think it's just a positive outcome. And, uh, you know, we've just got to do our best to try and get some points on board against these top teams and try and scramble away from the bottom there. Well, I know when we've spoken in recent weeks, you, you're obviously there to focus on the football inside of things, Neil. But that clarity, does it subconsciously help you going forward into this run of games? Well, it helps the whole club. I think it helps the, the staff. It helps the players. I think the players were relieved that we weren't 12 points deducted and things like that. Um, but, but there's been a massive... I've noticed a massive difference in the last two or three weeks, anyhow. I think since the West Brom game, I think the players are, are just believing a little bit. Um, if we can eliminate silly mistakes, we're in games, you know. I mean, this weekend, with I've never been 5-1 to one at home with the bookies ever in my life. <laughs> So um, you know, um, I'm hoping that we can uh, we can put one over on them. Hopefully, be a bit of a coupon buster then if they're going yeah, on those. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think we bust the coupon at Millwall as well. <laughs> um, um, just uh, just lastly on that, the the ownership front. I know I know you've told us how how going forward at the end of the season, you're always happy to lend an ear to lend a little bit of advice. What 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 would you say to Kevin coming into this club and going forward? I think all I can say is what the potential is at the club. You know, I, I would imagine there's going to be something like 20,000 fans, our fans this this weekend. You know, there'll be whatever, they'll sell out, Middlesbrough. What a good atmosphere. What a good advertisement uh, for Kevin to look at the club. And, um, you know, he'll have his own ideas. Business people at that level, you know, they have a, they know what they're doing and uh, they, 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 they look forward. And I'm sure he'll get help from the club here, uh, if I can help him at all, he knows that I will. I'm I'm there if ever he wants to talk to me, and uh, it's just, you know, I wish I could have come four or five weeks before that, but we haven't got that time. We've got to get on with the eight games that we've got now, and uh, I don't want it to just fade away. I want us to try and keep in the mix, and uh, these next three fixtures, you're not going to get any more difficult games than. You know, the Middlesbrough, Watford, and then Blackburn Rovers. It's, uh, but you know what I've got to try and do is make sure that these are difficult games for those three teams as well, not just uh, you know a comfy three points for them. Talk about making them difficult. You certainly did that for Millwall, didn't you? Put your bodies on the line, really defended well. I think I read that Gary Rarrett was talking about the amount of shots that they had and they couldn't convert. What what's the mood been like after that win at the Den? I think it, it just, it, you know, I think the, the whole week, that week, you know, you, you can sense certain things. I, I said to Ronnie Jepson on the Thursday that it was the best I've ever seen them, best I've ever heard them. And I hope, I said, I hope that we we don't get a battering on Saturday because it'll just, not me, because I, I felt it was good, the atmosphere around the place. And, you know, all you can ask is that these players put their heads on the line and, and and they do and the fans will accept defeat if you if you give it your all you know uh, so it was good and I think when you get a, a win like that against a good side you know uh, a team that don't normally lose points at home it just gives you that little bit more belief yeah. and unfortunately we're playing the most formed team of the <laughs> of the of the league at the moment uh, on Saturday Middlesbrough my old club and um, so it is a difficult one. But that's all I ask. All I can ask the players is give me all, give me your all, and and let's do the best you can. And uh, you know, uh, miracles do happen. 
Yeah, do you feel that Millwall game was maybe the most complete performance since you've come back to the club? Yeah, I mean, you know, we didn't we didn't create an awful lot. I thought we had the best chances, if I'm honest. I thought um, I thought we should have had a penalty as well, and um, you know, we it, it's one of those things that when you're trying to get out of trouble, you cannot be expansive. You know, I, I look at some of the web, the um, fans forums, me, because I'm nothing else to do at night, unfortunately. And, um, you know, they're saying, why can't I play three forwards? You know, why don't I play two forwards and, and a winger and so on and so on. So. But they don't understand that we will get picked off if we do if we do things like that. We have to be strong. We have to be disciplined and uh, we have to work hard and keep in games. And uh, And that's what you've got to do. You've got to keep in games. And we did. The only the only point at Millwall where I worried was in the first five minutes when they should have scored. Um, Josh Caroma left his man once. That's all, just once, and that's all it takes. Just one mistake and you've lost the game. Um, but we got away with that, and then I thought we we grew into the game and a lot of pluses really. But I think we can improve on that. I think there's a lot more to come from us really as we get more confident. I think we can be better on the ball. I think we can keep the ball longer. Uh, that just comes with the confidence, really. But the, you know, the training's been excellent, as you'd expect from a a, a good result like that. And uh, you know, we, we, like I said, we're not going to get a tougher test than this. I don't think I've ever been five to one, as I said to you, <laughs> five to one with the bookies at home. It's uh, staggering. It's, yeah. Maybe, maybe even when you lead United side, we're hosting the likes of Chelsea or Spurs. You might not have even been that far. Um, just on the on the improvements, you mentioned some of them there. Has has this international break been a good thing and, and allowed you that extra time to work on those improvements? Yeah. Also, I think they needed a break as well, the lads. Um, I, I'm you. You know, people say about the international break when you've won a game. Yeah, you don't you don't want an international break. You want a few. That's for me. That were rubbish. We needed a break. They put so much into the training, so much into the games, um, and, and we needed to take a step back you know, uh, relax the muscles and get ready for this next challenge. And so, you know, this week's training has been excellent. And, um, you know, it, it, it's, uh, I just hope that we, you know, we don't go and give a stupid goal away early doors, which, you know, when you've got a team like Middlesbrough full of confidence, you know, you, you can quite easily get beat. You know, when I, I spoke to um, Hodgie, the a scout who, who was looking at Middlesbrough and uh, I rang him after the, and I said to him, uh, they won 4 nil against Preston. I said, how did they play, Hodgie? He went, you don't want to know. You don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> when they've got that attacking threat, you know, you were, you were so impressed, weren't you, defensively down at Millwall. But when they've got someone like a, a Chubarak Pom coming to town, how, how do you go about preparing your defence to deal with, if not the striker of the season in the championship? Oh, absolutely. I think he could be the striker of the season anywhere, apart from Harlan, probably. Um, <laughs> Because, I mean, I didn't play him. I, I played him up front and he, he didn't do very well for the club at, at that stage. But Michael's put him in the hole and he's been a revelation. Some of his goals yeah. have been absolutely... And he's a nice lad. So, I, I don't, you know, I don't... I mean, I signed him. So, it's you know, it, it's... Um, he's playing like now, like when I saw him on a video, when I signed him on a video, <laughs> every goal he was like that. He was amazing. and uh, and, and that's how he's been this season. So... You know, well done to Michael Carrick. He he spotted that, and uh, you know, it'd been a revelation. You, you maybe answered my my next question there, but could you always see him having a season like this? No, I couldn't. Um, the, the only thing I would say is, like I say, we signed him on on um, videos and things like that. What the what the um, um, the staff showed me, and he he just did things like that. He, you know, like his, some of his goals, the clips were all about movement like that. Um, but for one reason or another, when he played up, up front, he, he didn't that he never really got the opportunities like that. Whereas now, because of the forward plane and you know the crosses are coming in from everywhere and the, the intricate passing, he's getting chances all over the show. And uh, and you know, 20 odd goals take some doing in the championship, yeah. so you know, well done. But you know, we our defenders have done well late of late, last few games, so it'll be a great challenge for him to play against these. No, the, the types of players that we're coming up against this weekend. The last time Town beat Borough at the John Smiths, it was that behind closed door season, a, 
a 3-2 win, Neil. You were in charge of Middlesbrough that afternoon and, and Josh Caroma scored the winning goal. Has he reminded you of that at all? Could you remember that? Yes, I remembered it. Only, only yesterday. I didn't I didn't realise till yesterday. But um, I think my record's pretty good against Middlesbrough, if I'm honest. If you look at my record, uh, I won't bring it up yet because, you know, tempting fate. <laughs> But um, I remember Steve Gibson always telling me about my record against him. So uh, I hope I can maintain that. Yeah, fingers crossed. It, it, it's funny looking at the table because a, a win for Middlesbrough could see them go on level on points with Sheffield United. Their nearest competitor, a win for Huddersfield Town, could see you go level with Cardiff City, your nearest competitor. There's, there's pressure on both sides, but in completely different scenarios, isn't there? Yeah, there is. I mean, when you talk about pressure, believe me, Pressure at relegation pressure is far, far worse than going for promotion. You know, Middlesbrough and Sheffield United, all they're thinking about, are we automatic or getting in the playoffs? That's lovely, you know that. No, There's no pressure there. You can just enjoy yourself there. Um, when you're in the relegation fight, you, you're looking, people are losing the jobs. Um, you're going down a division. You look at the next division, some big club, big club, Sheffield Wednesday, Ipswich, Portsmouth. You know, my my club, what I support, Plymouth Argyle, nobody's giving them a chance. And and on the wage bill, they shouldn't have a chance. But, you know, they've got a great chance. 40,000 fans going to Wembley this weekend. Mm. You know, so it's a great, a great level. This The divisions in English football are amazing. And uh, so relegation you don't want. And it's a bitter taste, horrible taste, um, uh, that type of thing. So give me going at the other end of the table any time. Both Town and, and Middlesbrough, though, in, in their respective positions, you're the ones doing the chasing, aren't you? What What's the psycho, uh, psychology behind that, Neil, being the chaser and not the one being hunted down? What What's the difference in that? Uh, I just think people wrote us off weeks ago, really. So I, I think you've just got to realise that there's eight games, there's a lot of points. We have a difficult running. Everybody knows that. So we've got to get as many points as we can at, against these top teams and then hope we can get the right results elsewhere. But the minimum requirement is 100% effort. I think all you can do is that. And uh, if the fans see that, they'll forgo anything else. Uh, and what will be, will be. There's a lot worse things in life than relegation, you know, when you look around the world today and, and the pandemic and everything else, what's going on. So, yes, it's it, we don't want that. And I don't want it, on you know, when I'm in charge. Uh, but it won't be for the lack of trying. Do you prefer being the one chasing a Cardiff City or do you prefer looking forward, as in not looking over your shoulder? No, I'd prefer to be Cardiff City or anybody else up there, if I'm honest. Yeah. And have some, and have some points on board any time of the week, yeah. It's, um, you know, it, it's far more difficult chasing because you have, you have to get results, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and that's where we find ourselves. Just lastly, going into the game, you've obviously had a break. Are there any fresh injury concerns going into the, the Middlesbrough game or are you able to welcome anyone back? I'm thinking you're Anthony Knockhart, you're Dwayne Holmes, those kind of players. Yeah, not not really. I mean, they're, they're both, the, what you mentioned now, they are training. They are, uh, Dwayne's trained on the grass last few days. Um, it would probably be too early for him. And uh, and uh, Waggy, Waggy's not bad either. I think, you know, that surprised me. That more... More of a cramped situation than anything. So, he, Waggy, Waggon should be available as well. So, you know, we've got a long, you know, eight games. We've got three in the space of a very short time, haven't we? Nine days. Um, so, we'll just have to keep an eye on on little niggles and see what's what. Could you timescale wise, Dwayne and Anthony maybe being available for the Easter weekend? Who's that? Dwayne. Dwayne, Dwayne Hill. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, like definitely. That. If, I mean, he's on the grass now, so I am, to be fair, I, I'm going to see him after the press conference today. I'm going to see how he went this morning and just see how he felt, you know, and uh, we've got another another session tomorrow. Um, but he should be available, I would imagine, for the for the Blackburn Rovers game, if, if not before. Great. Thanks for your time, Neil. Best of luck. Hopefully a coupon buster for you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Cheers. Come in the room next. Good up. Sticking on team news, is, is Anthony Lockhart back with the group now? 
He is back with the group. Yeah, he he trained this morning. Um, I don't know. I haven't had a chat with him yet. Are you with me in that situation? But he's he's not he's not been with us now for three weeks, has he? Something like that. So uh, it's asking a lot, really, to be to be involved in a game like that. I think. And we know Lee Nichols obviously has been back on the grass. What's he's done well? Yeah, yeah he's done well. I just said to him the other day, um, you know, will he get a chance to play under me? before the end of the season. And he said, you know, I hope so, yeah. I said, I'm working hard towards it. So you never know, he might get two or three games in with a bit of luck. He's, he's way in front of where he thought he'd be and he's working very hard. When I do my gym work, he's always in there. I imagine just having him as a presence back around the gym. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see his his aura around the place and, you know, it's, a, it's one of those things, disappointing, um, you know, because for me, he's as good as anything in the league. His nickels, you know, so uh, but um, you never know, we might just have him for two or three games. Um, on the takeover as well, have you had any communication with the, the potential new owners? No, not I, uh, not yet. No, I mean, uh, obviously, Dave Baldwin's been speaking to them and I think he's going out to see them next week, but uh, I think he's made them aware if they want to talk to me at all about anything. Uh, I'm at the end of the phone, and Middlesbrough, I think some of their results, like you touched on it already, some of their results lately have been kind of imposing. Uh, they're particularly good at killing off games. They're very good at getting that second, third goal. It's that... And the fourth. Yeah. Is that all the more reason to try and uh, keep things tight and, and make sure you get off to a good start? I think I think we've just got to try our hardest, that's all. I don't think we... we, uh, we you know, we're not be, we can't change too much. In, uh, you know, we haven't got... We haven't got a lot of goals in the team. I don't think I can... I think I can honestly say that without being disrespectful to the squad. Um... You know, that's why, you you know, your tuber Akpon's worth his weight in goal. You know, somebody who scores 20 goals, it's fantastic, really, isn't it, in the Championship? So, you know, uh, I think it'll be a massive test for us tomorrow with the, um, um, for the back, you know, not just the forward, but the back lads as well. I think it's going to be a, it's going to be a, a big team effort that's needed to, uh, to to give them a good game, really. I want to, I want to give them a good game if I can. Um, you know, we haven't just got to lie down you know, I think did I did I say to to uh, Stephen about the um, Hodge? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've told him didn't I about Hodge what he said. Um. Yeah. Um. Uh, has the international break been an opportunity to work on sort of some of that attacking side of the game at all? Yeah, we we are team fairness team. We all you won't believe it, but we we always work on the attacking side. Yeah, yeah. Most days we finish with a with something regarding the attacks and and. Uh, you know, I think I think the biggest plus for me is has been the likes of Jack Rudoni and and Josh Karoma. They they've been excellent in the training this last week, so ho hopefully they might get an opportunity at the weekend. That's not for me. Best luck. Thank you. Leon, the Oxford Post. Leon. Hello, Neil. Are you well? How, All right, son. I, I was just thinking that that last game when you were at Middlesbrough, when you knew you were going, and then you had the West Brom game, and you had. Such a brilliant re reception from the fans at the end. That must be. I mean, you've done promotion, this, that, and you've done everything. But that was a cherished memory for you. I would have thought because you don't get that very often, dear. Because you know it, it was heartfelt from from the punters there. It to, to be fairly, and it it did bring a tear to my eye. If I'm honest, you not think about that, will you, with me? But yeah, it yeah. did bring a tear to my eye. It was really emotional. Johnny House and was fabulous, and uh, yeah, he took, he took me over there, and and it was just special. And and you know when I think back, I'd like to think that I've contributed to their success today. Really, yeah. yeah. In the way you know, I always believed if I'd have not been sacked, that we'd have got in the playoffs that year. Because yeah. we're only we're only four points behind, and we've yeah. got a back four all injured, all the centre halves are out. Yeah. Um. So although the new manager came in, you know, I thought they should have got in the playoffs that year. Me. Yeah. And then uh, this year, I'm pleased Michael's doing well because. They are a good group of lads. Fans were fabulous. Yeah. And um, after Saturday, I'll be I'll be rooting for them. But I'll be yeah. the same. I'll be saying the same when we play Sheffield United, uh, Leon. Of course. Yeah, uh, yeah. I've yeah. got. In fact, every club I've been that's involved either in relegation, I think, or promotion. Uh, yeah. It's a funny, yeah. funny championship this year. But yeah, yeah, it was emotional that. Because the connection you had, I mean, you didn't go up with medals, but but the punters there can really recognise. You know what you did there. You know you've said from relegation, you turned the club around again, and it was certainly going in 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 the right way again. Well, we we got rid of all the high earners, 
massive yeah. earners. Yeah. Uh, and the problem was we only had 13 players pre-season for, for the for the full season that I had. And we, we just couldn't sign players. No. Um, no. It was like extracting teeth, trying to get players signed. <laughs> so we never got our targets, you know. And yeah. I, I look at uh, people uh, uh, like they've got now. And Archer and, and and Giles and you know we were desperately trying to get them to him when I was there. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's um you know they've done well to to get the types of players they've got and uh, and hopefully now you know they can yeah. they can move on. But you know we've got to try and do our best to to yeah. give them a game. That's what I want. I don't want us to lay down. I yeah. want to yeah. give them because it'd be a good atmosphere, Lily. Are you coming tomorrow, Leon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it'd I'm be a good atmosphere. Good. Twenty. I mean, yeah. I don't know what what the away. What the away fans are here? How many? How many do they have? Two thousand three hundred. So there'll be twenty two, twenty three thousand, won't there? Yeah, it'd be yeah. a really good atmosphere. Yeah, and you went up there. I know you did your talk, your farewell, you know, your talking thing, and you went up there and you got a great, great reception and everything. That must have been nice. Yeah. It was, yeah. I, I, I have enjoyed doing me, me theatre shows, Leon. Yeah. I mean, I've yeah. got about seven or eight in May and June, and. Even Ipswich is confirmed now. In September the first, I can't wait for the yeah. Ipswich and Portsmouth. I thought I better not set foot in them places, but uh, yeah. I'm going to do shows there now. So I, I'm yeah. not looking forward to that. It, it gives me yeah. um, to talk about my stories and, and I think about things that's not planned in me in my script or anything. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. just yeah. come into my mind, and it's it is lovely to share them. I must admit, yeah. uh, without any pressure of points. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> and, I, I don't, yeah. I don't get and I don't get any journalists having a go at me in the in my theatre <laughs> shows. Never do. Never do. 